Right, good morning everybody. Um, I'm just doing something a little bit different now. Um, I've been making these Unomis for quite a while now. They can have some brush decoration on. Quite a simple form, but I thought, I, wonder, I like the shape of it and the form of it, so I thought, I wonder if it would transfer to something bigger, so I've just made one. That's three times as much clay from there and now I'm gonna go with uh, that was that was uh, the first one is 500 grams the second one is 1200 grams and this one is um, uh, 2400 two, two, two kilos 400 grams I don't know what that is in pounds a kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds is it so you know you have to work it out <laughs> I'm just wondering if the form that you see in the traditional sort of unoma shape will transfer to a larger dimension it'll have uh, some black slip on it I'm going to show you that in a minute and then it will have um, some white brushed panels and then some brushwork on it on the white panels as a, de a design detail so I'm just curious as to whether whether when you enlarge the proportions of an object whether they still hold the same aesthetic value. If you think about it in the terms of uh, running shoes or trainers, trainers for tiny feet like toddlers always look cute and nice. But you transfer that same basic design of a trainer to a size 14 man's shoe, large one, they become a bit barge like, don't they? So. I've always been intrigued by the, the the fact that when things are smaller, they um, become more aesthetic, maybe certainly cuter in the same in the um, in the sense of children's clothing. But hey ho, we'll see. I need to remember to leave this with a fairly deep base because it has quite a deep foot ring on it. in the basic cylinder shape now. Also trying to transfer the skills that you use for throwing a you know me I tend to throw them almost without thinking now. It's a fingertip job. Obviously this you need to start to use your hand and your knuckles so Just concentrating on getting the last bit of clay out from the bottom, keeping it even. I made a video last year, I don't know whether it was mentioned on the video I made last year, is I don't compress the rim enough, I don't think. So I have to, still have to consciously tell myself compress the rim. It's getting a bit more of a habit now but right, there's a lot of clay just here now so I'm just trying to tease it out. right looking at the other one it's a bit tall I think so we need to belly it out a little bit more 
just a little bit from here. I don't do any turning from this point here, so I need to get that thin enough. To the other one, a little bit flat here, but that'll come out in a minute when I put the rib on it. A bit of chamois leather ready. This is what's called, I think it's an ox tongue or a cow's tongue. It's a rib anyway I sent for from, from Japan. It's just a curved one. I use it for the inside of tea bowls but I'm going to use it in here to smooth the bottom. Quite a nice tool. Smoothing off the, the slurry from the outside here because I'm going to put a slip on it and I want it to stick. And I'm doing so, I'll put a ridge in it. Tune it. Bernard Leach said that uh, you pay attention to the base, the foot, and the end, the rim. What happens in between tends to take care of itself. I've well, got slight indentation there. Well, that'll do. This is um, this is black. This is black clay that I put through a sieve and sieve out all of the grog. And so it's quite a fine slip, really, for black clay slip. It looks red, but it's got a lot of iron and manganese in it. And we just uh, paint it on. Quite a satisfying uh, bit of the throw-in process. This. room here. That's got it. Let's pick up the other one to show you. This is biscuit fire so I don't really want to touch it that much. I think it still goes in a little bit more at the top but we'll see what happens in the turning. Right that's it. Um, just to let you know that also I have a, an Etsy shop now. The um, uh, the link to it will be in the um, in the description underneath. If you want to go and have a look, it's going quite nicely. Uh, only the smaller pieces go on because a lot of them go across to the US, and anything over two kilos in weight tends to cost an absolute fortune to post. So they're usually underneath a kilo. There's tea bowls and little sake cups and things like that. But if you'd like to have a look at the Etsy site, please do. Um, and that's it. I'll do a little video of the brushwork on this when it's done. Got another three or four of these to do, and then we're sorted. Okay, cheers.